I'm Dan Yost and we're just going to go over a little bit of some issues going on at the central office annex building of what it's going to take and just showing visual of some things that are happening. So as you can see this got mastic in it's starting to pull separate from the foundation so these are the front steps coming into the annex building um, and then you can see just various points tuck pointing where the mortar is all chipped out uh, I do believe we had bees and problems here, but it's just an example of you can see by the gaps that a lot of mortar is starting to go where we have to do a lot of tuck pointing to this found to this building. And we'll take a look at some concrete here. As you can see, a crack that is starting to come over on the steps, the first, the very top landing of coming in, and uh, this will start heaving. It's trying to separate itself and pull away. That's why um, we would have to redo all these front steps going into the annex. Uh, you can see the side here. We, we try to put some mortar down in there, but it's still separating. So they're not just pulling away, but they're also shifting out, which is one reason is a safety concern that we would have to replace these. And this is just the front side on the left as you're facing, and the right is not much better. And then going down to the next landing here, you can tell this is starting to pull away, same thing. Masking got put in there, starting to shift out. You can see that we couldn't even get any mortar in here from pulling away, and that's just grass and sand. And like I said, it is shifted apart especially where the landing meets the next step. You can see it's shifting outward right in here. And the final landing where you, you can tell we really got heavy with the masking, just trying to hide the cracks, but yes, shifting out and something has to be done with this so it doesn't tip over eventually. All right, here we are downstairs in the mechanical room. You got one and two. These are the steam boilers that run the annex. Uh, one is the one where the burner chamber is shot. And this is why we have to update our system. As you can tell, the backside from heat is starting to deteriorate. And that's just time and age doing its job. Um, here's the look glass through to see the fire, but Irregardless, these were original, got converted over to gas, used to be coal for steam, and now, now it is gas steam. But yeah, original steam boilers since 1920, 25, 26, around that era. So uh, visually outside, they look, they look healthy, but inside they have a lot of wear and tear, and that is the issue we're having. And we can go around the front side and we can show some old piping. That's all the steam boiler piping up above with the big valves. We do have some condensate leaks, but it's not enough to create too big of an issue. We tried to fix them and failed. They, they just keep leaking. Now these are the fronts of them. These are newer burners on them, but that's when they switched over from coal to gas. So I couldn't give you an exact date when that happened. But as you look around, you can definitely tell it's burning hard. The discolorment, and if I could open this up, I would, if it wasn't heating, and show you what the tubes in the burner inside looks. Um, you could see that this one is, it is on its last leg. And same with Steam boiler 2, this one seems to be running all right. For the most part, we haven't had too many issues with this one. It's the fact being that if one goes, we still have a backup, but if the backup fails, then we're in trouble where we have a scramble. Then we'll go back and look at the new boilers down here. And this is still part of the annex. As you can tell, the up above ceiling is starting to crumble. That's due to humidity, leaks, 
that is happening from the roof. Uh, you can see a picture of where the water runs on the side of the wall. It just runs straight down. Our new boilers are starting to corrode because of humidity. It's, it's a bad spot in here for these. Another good spot of seeing water coming in is back here by the variable speed controls. It just comes right down. Get some pictures of rocks falling from the ceiling. Luckily, they haven't hit the new boiler yet, but it's getting pretty close to them. But this would just be something to address if we stay here that we have to do something different to fix this, this portion of the ceiling. So this is outside by our laundry room, by the gym and the annex. Uh, the piece that's getting showed right now, we've repaired this piece twice so far since my time being here at the school since 20, 2012. It's just showing what the pipes look like underneath the insulation. Um, it's definitely showing the wear and tear where they're getting, they're getting to, starting to deteriorate with the steam going through it. And that's, that's a big reason why we have to want to replace this with hot water because the piping system in here it's not good with the where the steam did go through so that's that's another issue that would have to be addressed if if we chose to keep operating in this building all right so this is the roof of central office as you can see the roof is starting to crack um, it is the last roof to replace and time and wear has done it we're starting to have water where it's cracking and then also you can see the darker spots where water does sit on there through a period of time um, and then down below on the mechanic roof you can tell that it's down to the bare rubber and it, it, it that needs to be replaced sooner and later so out here this is the elevator mechanical room this was installed in 1980 by paperwork showing. Uh, just a lot of issues with it. Elevator getting stuck. Certain uh, floors, we have to open the doors to get students out. So it's something that we'd have to really consider about maintaining and possibly purchasing a different elevator. 